my gut monsters and welcome to fun Friday as you can see probably all over my face and the fact that I'm wearing a wig we are doing a makeup tutorial today and yes this is a tutorial that we're doing and in case if you haven't noticed it is Anna when she is being frozen over because her heart got frozen from her sister Elsa in the movie Frozen now I really wanted to do this makeup tutorial because for one I haven't hardly seen anybody do it I've seen like people do like half faces or like their own spin. I wanted to do what the video told me, and hence the herpes of cosmetics that is all over my face. In case you don't know what that is, that is glitter. I hate glitter, I despise glitter, but I put up with it for you guys because I really wanted to do this look for you guys. And I kind of wanted to get it as spot on as I possibly could. Do kind of like the, the wind blown with the ice on the uh, rosy cheeks and the nose. I did put a little bit of white on the nose just because, I mean, it just, you know, kind of helped blend it all together. I do have some on my forehead too, but you can't really see because I'm trying to make this part bangs. Because by the time I already braided it, I realized, oh wait, Anna has bangs. And I didn't make the bangs on the wig. Oops. It's just kind of like my interpretation of the makeup and everything um, on Anna from the frozen of the frost and everything and there's glitter everywhere. I was going to do my hands but I thought that's going to be really messy and hard to get off. So if you want to see how I achieved this Anna frozen over look, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, whatever I put in the title down below, whatever, I don't know. But if you want to know how I did this. Here it is. As always, we're gonna be starting off by getting our hair out of the way. You can, of course, go ahead and use a wig cap to get your hair all contained, but I like to make things difficult for myself as usual, so I just stuck with the hairband and a hair tie. Now, going on to primer, I'm using the Fix and Perfect Pro by Rimmel London, and I just use the size of a pea, rub that onto my skin thoroughly, and you can use any primer that you want or just a moisturizer, but I find using a primer uh, works really well and this you can find at Walmart. Okay, now I did not record putting on foundation, but as you can see here, just do one to two shades lighter than your natural skin tone. Make sure you blend it all the way down to your neck. And so here we're going right into the eyes. You can use any primer you want. I have heard that a concealer works really well, stick concealer typically. But I'm going to be using the Maybelline Expert Wear in Autumn, Cop Autumn Coppers, sorry, and the e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush. And we're going to take the color that's marked for crease in here. It's a perfect kind of gray toned taupe. And we're going to take that mostly into the crease concentrating it there but blending it out all over the eye essentially and also into the inner corner closest to your nose. Whatever's left on your brush to towards the end when you're blending it all out make sure you take it below your bottom lash line to kind of complete the look around the eye. the e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. It's a basic eyeshadow brush. Looks like this. Now we're going to take the color that's marked for the base. Uh, it's just going to go on the lid. It's a natural light pinky nude and that's just going to go straight on the lid, nowhere else on the eye. For the brows I'm trying to keep it as uncomplicated as possible so I'm using e.l.f.'s small angled brush and I'm going to take the brown color which is marked for the liner it's just a red toned brown and I'm just going to fill my brows in with that color because it's a perfect red toned brown that kind of matches Anna's natural hair color. The eyebrow brush I'm just blending out and smoothing out my eyebrows with the color on there. And then going back onto the eyes, I'm taking the Scandalize by Rimmel London in their 008 Blackmail. And this is their Jumbo Pencil, so I'm going to just tight line my eyes with this color. And then I'm going to go back with that small angled brush by e.l.f. And I'm also going to line my top lash line with that same color. 
you don't want to do with this is create a cat eye. You want to keep the eye line very simple, very basic. Don't flare it out with a cat eye because the girl, the princess's eyes are very round. Going into the falsies and I'm going to be taking the Ardell in 120 Demi Wispies I believe they are, but they are in black. And first you want to make sure that they size right on your eyeballs before you do the glue. And as you can see I'm just sizing it up making sure to fit my eye. And it does. So then I just take it off, apply the glue, wait, and then apply as close to the lash line as possible. I'm all done with both eyes. I like to take a Q-tip to clean up any of the edges from the glue because I use a black glue. You can use a clear glue, um, but I use a Q-tip to clean up the edges as well as make sure that the eyelashes are secure in place. Now, also because I don't like to curl my lashes anymore, I just go straight into mascara and I'm using the Scandalize Flex in Extreme Black by Rimmel London and I'm just using this to push my natural lashes with the falsies. So make sure to apply mascara to your bottom lashes as well. Now moving on into the cheeks. I'm first going to be using NYX's blush in peach and the e.l.f. small stipple brush. And this is just going to create a nice windblown, you know, you're the flush of the cheeks from being the, in the icy cold air. This is just going to be a base for that as well because it's going to get darker in the center. So first you just want to spread that as far around your cheeks, your nose and chin as much as possible. And then I take CoverGirl's blush in Plum Plush. It's number 117 and I put that mostly in the center of the cheeks, nose and chin. And here comes the fun part. As you can see, I'm happy. I'm using Mayron's Clown White Light and a small artist brush. This was just part of a pack at Walmart for like four bucks. Really great deal. So I used a reference photo, several reference photos for this look. I just took screenshots from watching the movie on my computer and that really helped a lot because then I was able to pick the angles that I wanted to use as a reference. Basically, I kept some of the shapes as similar as I could to Anna's actual snowflakes on her cheeks, but for the rest of them, it was really easy to just kind of splatter on a similar snowflake look. And basically, it, they all kind of look like spider webs, really fancy spider webs. So if you keep that in mind and just slap them on, it all kind of melds and overlaps anyways. So you don't have to get too fancy with this. When you're all done applying all the snowflakes that you want on your forehead, temples, cheeks, even your chin and a little bit of your neck area, you want to just blend out all the edges with your finger to just kind of blend that frosted look and it really helps complete the look too. As you can see how it all looks like it's all very well blended together and everything. And here comes the part that I absolutely dread, which is the glitter. I'm sure you guys could guess from far away. I got this glitter from Michaels. It is a cosmetic glitter. It's used for face painting and everything, so it is safe if you get it near your eyes. Always make sure you get glitter that's safe to go around your eyes. I just used my ring finger that had the product of the cream, and I just dabbed it all over where the snowflakes were, even on my cheeks and nose and a little bit of my chin and forehead because uh, the close-ups of Anna that I got, it showed that her, her entire face was sparkling with a frost. If you have snowflakes on the neck, don't forget to put glitter there too. Now we're gonna go into doing the wig caps, so make sure you get your hair up all in that. And take your time with this because you don't want to smear your makeup by accident. The wig that I got was actually from Halloween Mart. It's a year-round Halloween store here in Las Vegas. And it was for a barbarian look, but I undid the braid that it came with and braided it myself for this look. And I think it came out great. And um, it's a little long, but it works. Touch, we're gonna be doing the lips. I used the 625 Eyes to Made This by Revlon. I did notice Anna had some darker lips towards the end of the movie before she got frozen into solid ice.
So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I actually, I had a lot of fun. It was really challenging. It was really hard to do something different like this, like with the snowflakes and everything. I was trying to replicate it as much as I could, but I, you know, it happens. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this look anyway. I hope maybe it's a possible Halloween look for you guys this year, maybe even a Christmas look this year, because this could be, you know, like a frosted snow witch. I don't know. Snow queen, maybe. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Make your own rules. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it so much. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, follow me appropriately on my other social networking sites, which are facebook.com slash yinyangsarah or Twitter and Instagram, spelled the same way, at yinyangsarah. This was new. It was different. It's cute, right? Haven't done a tutorial in a while, so I'm a little rusty, but I'll get there. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Always remember, yin yang is a balance and the balance lies within yourself. Don't feed the trolls. Bye. Look at this herpes all over my face. Everything that I've been looking for. Hello? Hi, I'm in the middle of recording. Two days back here. What up now? Intro time.